Hi everyone, I'm here for an online version of our Library Madness class. This class is geared for kids in kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, kindergarten and first graders are definitely going to probably need a little bit of help with this. Um, older children might too. Uh, so if you don't have time to provide a little assistance, then maybe stop the video um, and watch it a little bit later. But I'm going to go over what we need for this project. This project is called um, the Paper Bridge Challenge. So we need plain paper. This is just photocopy paper. If you have any scratch paper, um, this is the kind of paper that would work the best. Uh, then you might need to collect a ruler, uh, some paper clips, just a few, about three or four, and then lots of pennies. I have a whole cup of pennies here. If you don't have just pennies, you could get collect any change that you can find or washers or something like that would also work. So you wanna co collect all that. And then you'll also need, um, I'm using these blocks. So you could use two books, you could use blocks, um, you could build something with your wider Legos, maybe build it up and put the big base piece. But the thing to remember is you want them both to be the same, right? They need to be the same height and the same width so that um, our bridge is even. You want that to be even. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna set your bricks or your blocks or your books, whatever you have, um, and you're gonna take your ruler and you wanna put them about seven or seven and a half inches apart, okay? So do that. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper and we're gonna lay it across. And actually, look at this, my paper's already dipping. So I think for the first part of the challenge, let's move our blocks a little bit closer together or your books to about seven inches. I'm just gonna adjust my camera because it fell down a little bit and I want you to be able to see me. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. How many pennies do you think I can fit, put on this bridge before it collapses? Take a guess, how many do you think? It's already bowing in the middle, so it doesn't look very strong, does it? So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna get a few pennies out of my cup and I'm gonna start adding them and I'm gonna see what happens. So first I'm, I'm gonna put it in the middle of the bridge. Oh my gosh, I put one in the middle of the bridge and it collapsed. So um, I think we could say that this was sort of a fail, right? It's not a very strong bridge. But what can we do with just a piece of paper, using only a piece of paper? How could we make this paper stronger so that maybe we can get more pennies on our bridge? Do you, can you think of anything that we could do to make it stronger? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try folding it. Um, if I fold it, then it'll, there'll be more paper, so it definitely will be stronger. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust my camera again, boys and girls, because somehow it's falling down. Um, let me tighten it. Okay, so hopefully we're good. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it the long way. So you want your paper to be long, so across the short, like that, you're gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna set it on the table, and you're gonna wanna fold it exactly in half, so uh, one side to one side and then you wanna crease it, so it should look like this. You're, and then you wanna crease it along this side with your fingernails so it's a nice tight fold, okay? So we have it like that. Um, let's lay it across. It, it already looks a bit better uh, because it's not bowing in the middle at all. So let's try again with the pennies, maybe I can get at least one on uh, before this bridge collapses. Let's try it. I did get one on, it's still standing. I'm gonna try one more. Oh, it's now it's starting to bow. I have two, three, so I got three pennies. Okay, so it's a little bit better. Um, what can we do to make it even stronger? I'm gonna fold it again. So I'm gonna fold it again, because now I have even more. So you might wanna set that down um, on the table so you can get it nice a nice fold and then I'm gonna crease it again um, and it actually is pretty flat but what you can do now is take your paper clips that you have and the edge and put one here along this edge to hold it and put another one along this edge to hold it so that it's 
that keeps it nice and flat. Okay, and now we're gonna set that. And you wanna make sure that you set it evenly so that an even amount of each side is on your footings for your bridge, okay? So I'm gonna flip mine over. I think that's about even. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna try again with my pennies and see if we get more than three. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the middle. It looks pretty good. Two, three, it's still standing. Four, five, six, seven. I'm going across and I'm evenly dispersing my weight with the pennies instead of piling them all in the middle, which is probably the weak point, right? Because it's not resting on anything. So I had one, two, three, four, five, seven. So I'm gonna try again, I'm gonna start in the middle. Eight, oh, it's starting to bow a little bit. I don't know if you saw that. Nine, it's definitely bowing in now because some of my pennies starting to move. 10, so I got 10 that time. So a lot more, I got zero, and then I got, I think, three, and then we had more. So this definitely worked pretty well, okay? so. Um, is there anything else we could do? I'm gonna get a new sheet of paper. You can set this aside. Um, and I also should point out, boys and girls, if you didn't have pennies, if you have just lots of coins, you'll want to make sure that you do the same amount of coins. So for instance, if you only have a quarter, if you find a quarter, you could put the quarter in the middle. Um, then if you have nickels, you'll wanna put one nickel on each side of the quarter so that it's the same, right? So this bridge could hold one quarter and two nickels. They're, they weigh more than the pennies. So definitely pennies and dimes would be your best bet to try to collect a lot of those. But if you don't have that, just make sure that you're um, being symmetrical. You could put one thing in the middle and then it could be anything. And then as you add to the outside, you wanna add the same thing to each side, okay? So now another thing we're gonna do with a sheet of paper, we're gonna take this sheet of paper and I'm going to fold it accordion style, which is a little bit tricky. So this is definitely a point where you might need some help. Um, and maybe the adult at home right now isn't able to help you, but that's okay. You can just stop this video. Um, and then when your parent or caregiver is able to help you a little bit, you can just restart it from this point. So what you're gonna do is you need an accordion fold. So what that entails is you're gonna flip, um, it's sort of like making a fan, if anyone's done that, I'm gonna push these out of the way so I can do this on the thing, on the table. So you're gonna fold it over, okay? So I folded it over onto the front just a little bit. It's hard to see, I'm gonna hold it closer to the camera. So there's a little fold. And then you have to flip your paper over and you need to fold it the same same width, okay? So now you can see I have, I have two folds. And then you flip your paper over again, and you fold. And so you're gonna keep doing that until the whole paper is folded like this. And that can be a little tricky. Um, but here's one that I've already folded, so it's, it's already finished, okay? So here's my accordion fold. And, um, I'm gonna put my blocks back and I'm gonna set, and you might need to have them a little closer, but you don't want, uh, you can't, right? If you have just a tiny little bridge, definitely your paper is stronger because there isn't very much in the middle that doesn't have any anything support under it. So you wanna be sure that your footings are apart and uh, at least get out your ruler they should at least be five and a half inches apart or six, okay? Probably six. So I'm gonna push mine. Actually, I think we can do six and a half. So try to have, make sure that there's six and a half inches of space in the middle, okay? So now I'm gonna gather up more of my pennies and I'm gonna start putting these on my bridge. I'm gonna lay them inside the folds so I'm on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I put those on either side. Now I'm gonna start in another fold 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm getting a lot of pennies. I'm going to put some in the other fold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I think I had 30 and 11. Was it 40? I, I kind of started counting over, didn't I? Um, but I have a lot. And, and it doesn't even look like my bridge is bowing. So I'm going to say I think I have about 40 pennies in there, and I'm going to start counting from 40 now. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. I'm just going to start dispersing them now between all the folds. Um, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. I wonder if I can get 100. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. I think I might make it. I only need 20 more. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and one more is 100. And look at that. My bridge is, is very even. It is not bowing in the middle at all. And I do have uh, all of my pennies situated here in the middle, not, not on the parts of the bridge that are touching the footing. So for sure, you can get a lot more pennies on if you start stacking them all the way out to the sides, right? Because this is supporting your paper, so it's strong. But I, I don't know how many more pennies I have in my jar, but I wonder what will happen if I just dump them all in the middle. Should we try it? Let's see. I don't know if it will hold them or not, but I'm just going to dump them all in there and see. It actually held them. So uh, this, this bridge is really, really strong, this accordion style. So uh, this will be a fun thing for you to try at home. Um, you could try building a taller bridge and see if that makes a difference. Um, you could try a narrower base and see if that makes any difference. Um, or another challenge would be to put your bridge on an uneven surface, like maybe one ed edge on the carpet and one edge on the floor if you have an area rug. So that'll just be a little bit of difference but see what that little bit of difference does. Um, when we try to build a bridge, we want it to be the same so that it's equal, but just experiment a little bit. See, like, do things begin to slide or is there not enough of an incline if part of your footing is on the carpet and part of a footing is on a floor? Um, and then could you raise it up? How Can you engineer somehow to raise it up so it is even? You can try all of those things. Um, so thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next week with another project.